Hey, Dan Meyer here, and today we're going to be talking about why you should be doing more on LinkedIn, right? LinkedIn is just underused. I'm gonna talk about some of the things that you should be doing on LinkedIn um, and why you should be doing them. LinkedIn has over 500,000 active users every single day, right? Um, it gives you global reach. It lets you demonstrate your value in multiple types of medium. It allows you to do storytelling, the most influential type of marketing that we have. It allows you to create a trail, uh, breadcrumbs, so people can find you, figure out about you, learn about you, understand you, and then do business with you, and vice versa, you can do the same for other people. And it's also super cool to use LinkedIn, especially if you're introverted, because in LinkedIn, it doesn't matter how extroverted you are in person, it matters how good you are at connecting through electronic media, and it can be a playground for introverts. So um, we'll talk about some of the things you should be doing on LinkedIn. This is one of a series of videos I've done on LinkedIn. I did one a few weeks ago called Optimizing Your LinkedIn, and I did one about a week ago called My All-Star LinkedIn Networking Tips. So this is the third one. So the first one's about what you should be doing with a virtual assistant to optimize your LinkedIn. The second one is things that I do to make my LinkedIn profile really stand out. And the third one we're gonna talk about today are things that you should be doing with your LinkedIn profile, right? So having your team, what you should do yourself, and what you can do for your business are really what you wanna focus on, right? So those are my previous videos, check those out. Um, as you know my story, if you don't, basically I started out working for Wells Fargo, worked there for 15 years as an analyst, did a lot of big data projects, got really involved in outsourcing, ended up in the Philippines, set up a call center, a couple other businesses, grew a virtual staffing business to over 100 virtual assistants, which I currently have today. Um, it's not your typical tech story, but bottom line is I'm very data driven, I'm very tech savvy, and in this world, the today's day and age, nerds make more money. So that's what you wanna be focused on, is how can you use technology to help you grow your business? And LinkedIn is key to that. When I launched my very first business, LinkedIn was by far and away the most important tool for me to grow my network. Um, as I launched a couple more businesses, I've gotten better and better at figuring out how to use LinkedIn to help each individual business. And I also have clients who manage their LinkedIn profiles for them to help them optimize their LinkedIn. So um, this is important because as I mentioned, LinkedIn is a global platform. There is no other place in the world, nothing even close, that allows you to have instant access to the best minds, the best talent, all over the world. Um, it's very unique and you have to appreciate that and use it as it was designed to be a networking platform. It is not a sales platform. People constantly send sales messages through LinkedIn and if they're like really aggressive sales, they're quite they're ineffective. They put people off. There are tools you can use and pay for to help you do more marketing on LinkedIn. I think it doesn't work. Most people don't like to go to LinkedIn to read marketing pitches or to be sold to by people who promise them astronomical returns on investment. Like I can get you 10,000 leads in a year or whatever. I don't want 10,000 leads. I'm happy if I get 500 qualified leads. That's what I care about. And you can't do that by mass marketing. You have to do that by knowing your connections, right? They say that you know you can have 15, 20,000 connections on LinkedIn, most of it's noise. You're better off having 500 or even less quality LinkedIn connections who can help influence your business, who can help drive new traffic to you, who can refer things to you, who can promote you and give testimonials. That's what LinkedIn's all about, that global reach getting people from all the world to help show that your business, what you're doing is awesome. It's really what LinkedIn's for, right? To help you really build your brand. You can also demonstrate your personal value, especially if you're a coach or a author or a business strategist, or you're looking for a new job, or you're looking to be a consultant, um, really you demonstrate your value. You can upload videos, you can upload examples of PowerPoints and PDFs, you can link off to your blog or to your vlog or your YouTube channel. Um, you can demonstrate your value on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is the best place for you to put the rubber um, for have the rubber meet the road, right? You know, you basically want to put your best foot forward by putting quality marketing materials about what you do. So people, when they come across your profile, there's a depth of knowledge that they can glean that you have, right? They want to know that you're the expert in whatever it is they need a solution for, right? So this is what I did, right? I have a lot of information about how I'm really involved in data analytics, data science, big data, those things are keywords throughout my profile. I am an expert on analytics and I do a lot of consulting and training and public speaking all around the world talking about big data. 
I also am in the virtual staffing, so you see a lot of that mixed into my profile as well. The two key things in my profile that demonstrate my value show that I'm a data nerd and I know how to build a business through virtual staff, right? And you want to make sure your profile stands out. Professional headshot, um, not a lot of background stuff, keep it simple, really quick tagline, um, grow your business the way I grew mine. The next thing you want to think about LinkedIn is a great, it's a great place to tell stories, right? To build narratives, right? Every day at a certain time, drop a video that's a narrative about why you're an expert in your field and the tips that you can give people and the, the success stories you've had and the things that you've done that made you to be who you are today. Talk about something people need to know about. Talk about things that will give solutions. Show people some of the content that you bring to the game. You do this by personalizing stuff, right? You don't do mass market marketing on LinkedIn. You can and people do and it just fails miserably. How many people have actually gotten a lead off of one of those marketing messages in LinkedIn that says, hey, check out this, I can do this and this and this and this. It's like, it's noise, it's background stuff, it's like spam. People don't read it. Look at their profile, research them, find out who you have in common, look at their testimonials, look at what their strengths are, look at their projects they've been working on, look at their career path, figure out something unique that you can do to benefit them. You send out five of those a week, you're going to be much more successful than sending out 5,000 spam messages, right? That's really what you want to do, personalization. And you do that by building stories, right? You build stories around what people need to learn, what solutions they need to have, how you can help them do better in their business. You use LinkedIn to demonstrate your value through storytelling. Use a lot of cool visuals, right? Use visuals that are catchy. Instagram so popular because of visuals. TikTok so popular because of like the quick videos, right? Quick and visual. Your storytelling has to be quick and visual, like a minute, two minutes max, short videos, teasers, trailers, things to talk about what you do. You wanna have these things in your profile to share how you can help somebody do the same thing for their business. How can you help them tell their story? The next thing is that you can stay connected so many ways. You can create so many different ways to connect with people. LinkedIn will help you like tell you when people's birthdays are. It'll remind you when they get when their anniversary for their work is. It will tell you when they got a new job. You can use each of those prompts as a way to interact with your audience, with your network to see first of all who's still active because LinkedIn is full of dead profiles. So many people set up their LinkedIn with their business address, email address, and when they leave that business, they never delete their LinkedIn. So you probably have half your LinkedIn profile right now. Half the people connected to you are dead leads, right? So you want to do the paper trail. You want to see out who's still there, how long since your last contact. Do they respond to even happy birthday or happy anniversary? If they don't respond to any of that, then just delete them. Don't even be connected with them. If they respond, then notate that. Say, hey, they responded to this message, and so now try something subtle, something simple. Casual conversation, something in common, share that, uh, a way that you interact with in the past, something that you've both done, people that you know, whatever it may be, that's how you start building connections. Again, five of those a week are much more powerful than using LinkedIn to spam people to death. You're never going to get anywhere on LinkedIn by spamming people. The last thing that's important I'll talk to you today about LinkedIn is that it's a place where introverts can really excel. If you're analytical, if you're kind of quiet, if you love to write and, and share things, um, having well thought out stuff, if you make videos but you're not exactly trying to be extroverted and fun, you just want to share some of your knowledge, some of your intellectual property, um, this is a great place to do that. Simple, short, unique, targeted marketing from introvert to introvert is the best way to go because if you go to a networking event in person, introverts tend to be shut out. They don't tend to do very well. And introverts don't like going to those kind of places. So the best place for an introvert to meet an introvert and do business together is on LinkedIn, right? So introverts rule. It empowers introverts. Um, way, more ways than any other networking app can do, right? So use LinkedIn to build your own tribe, your own connectivity group, your own people that share the same things. Set up a group, invite a few dozen people that have the common interests that you do, that are going the same direction, and, and come up with some kind of informal uh, mind sharing group or you know think of ways to brainstorm together right this is a great place to do a mastermind an online mastermind through linkedin connections right so this is what you want to do you want to make sure that you optimize the ability to use the introvert savvy um, side of you and get out there and network that way sending people mass sales messages having loud crazy videos 
None of that stuff is going to be effective on LinkedIn. People don't spend time on LinkedIn like they do on Facebook or on Instagram, checking pictures out, watching people, doing things. People go on LinkedIn because they got messages from people on LinkedIn. They check the profile, they do a few things. Most of us don't go on LinkedIn to consume stuff unless it's like an afterthought or because we just went there for some other reason. Very few of us go to LinkedIn to get content. We go there to meet people. Keep that focused. You can still market on LinkedIn, but you wanna use it for networking. So again, I mentioned this in the first video I talked about how to optimize your LinkedIn, doing that with a virtual assistant. That's something if you wanna think about how to do that, it's a great value, right? So your time is way too valuable to be spent on LinkedIn day after day, every day maintaining contacts even if you're only sending out five messages a week and only trying to add a few dozen you know new connections over a month and you're only posting in groups every once in a while it's still time consuming and you want to be able to do that because linkedin again is super powerful to grow your network so the secret my secret to having a very very effective campaign on linkedin is having a virtual assistant manage my linkedin for me a couple hours a day every day she goes on linkedin she sends people anniversary greetings and birthday greetings and congratulations on the new job she's uh posts some of my posts into groups she engages she shares she likes um, she you know, gives applause. She does things to kind of show that I'm active. And when people choose to interact with me, where they reply to my messages or they thank me for my comment or they, they say something that's important, then my VA will tell me, hey, talk to this person yourself. But otherwise my VA is doing all of it, right? She's managing my LinkedIn. It looks like I have an all-star LinkedIn profile because I do. Um, I weed out old connections, people that don't reply to any of my messages. And if people don't thank you for wishing them a happy birthday, do you really want to have them in your Rolodex? why have them on your LinkedIn? Maybe because they have a good connection, a good network, and you want to maximize that. But once you've mined somebody's profile for everything you can get out of it, and if they're a dead profile, trim it out of there, get rid of it. You know, um, There's no reason to keep it around. Keep your profile uh, manageable, right? Um, that It's important to do that consistently, right? It gives you a sense of clarity so people that are around you and involved with you are kind of on the same path. Um, and it gives people a certainty that you are an expert, that you do cultivate good relationships, that your network is valuable. These are things that a virtual assistant could help you do. So if you want a virtual assistant to help manage your LinkedIn, among many of the other things that we can do for you, um, go ahead and text the word DATA to 26786. That's D-A-T-A to 26786. Or go to sonicva.com. It's S-O-N-I-C-V-A.com. Either way, reach out to us. Tell us what you're thinking about uh, having outsourced. If you want us to manage your LinkedIn for you, we can have a VA spend a couple hours a day really optimizing your LinkedIn, and it will grow business for you. We will find better people for your network. We will engage with them and we will keep your profile at the all-star level so people can see that you're a mover and shaker that you're legit that you actually bring value that's what you want to do with your LinkedIn profile if you're doing that it's worth your time so again these are things that you should be doing on your on LinkedIn whether it be you or a virtual assistant you want to be doing more on LinkedIn than you are now so that's my talk for today thank you for your time now go out there and have a wonderful time